But on January 16th, Governor Elliot Spitzer came to Western New York and had an, a, an upstate state of the state message, a state of the state message geared to make sure that everyone in the state knew that they would be included in the programs and funding sources that would come out of Albany this year. And we had that event in Buffalo. And we wanted to come up here specifically to let everyone know that we, that we understand that we are one state, we go up and down together, we live together, we work together, we are one family here in New York State. Yeah. Right after that speech on January 16th, I came and spent the rest of the day here in Rochester visiting families, visiting economic development site, sites, trying to spread that message. A lot of things have changed in New York in the last couple of weeks. But one thing that has not changed is our considered support for all of the projects that we have talked about right here in the, in the uh, upstate revitalization funding program that we are bringing to all of the cities, whether Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, wherever it is upstate, we will be there with funding to regenerate the economy, to bring jobs back to this area. In September of last year, we came here to talk about what would be the demolition of the plaza and then what would really be a redevelopment of that whole area, including a thousand jobs to pay tech as they would make their world headquarters right here on that project. I am here today to tell you that the plaza project is alive and well. The mid plaza project will go on as scheduled. along with the other projects that we are scheduled to develop in uh, the upstate region, the Inner Harbor Project in Buffalo, the uh, Connective Corridor in Syracuse, the Anatech Project in Binghamton, and the Downtown Revitalization Projects in Utica and Rome. They are going on as scheduled, and we want them to know that as well. specifically to the projects that we have here in Rochester. We want to continue the funding and the programs that will develop, uh, what, what, that will uh, build development ready sites, that will support small business, that will uh, connect the innovative uh, research and development that is cutting edge coming out of our universities to job creation. We also are uh, want to develop our agriculture and of course our infrastructure and our parks. Uh, we want to lower the cost of business and the way we do that is the Empire State Development Corporation has a project that involves demolition, reconstruction, redevelopment of projects where we will take projects and at the state's expense we will demolish them make them ready, make them uh, ready for business development so that we can be cut out that little inner uh, process that often has meant the difference between a good idea and actually the failure to implement a good idea. We recognize that very close to New York and Massachusetts, there are 50 state jobs that actually uh, foster the, uh, the research that, that is affected at MIT. We're doing the same thing here in New York as the cutting edge research that can create job opportunities, particularly in biotech. And by the way, there's nobody working on biotech or stem cell research around this state better than they're doing it in Rochester. community so that we have uh, opportunities for those who are graduating college not to have to go to other states, not to go to South Carolina and Nevada and places like San Jose, California that 
uh, brag about the boom in their population and people moving from other states like New York to find a better future. We can find a better future right here where we live. People don't really want to move away from their friends, their family, their whole lineage, and the culture of their neighborhoods. They do it because the taxes are too high. They do it because there aren't available jobs. They do it because they want to become entrepreneurs and there's no way to start a business because the business taxes in New York are too high. We want to address those issues. elated, as you might have noticed, <laughs> from the tremendous response that we have gotten from, what is it now, 1,016 people who have signed up, uh, community leaders, business people, along with the Rochester Business Alliance, and I want to thank Sandy, Wild, uh, um, Sandy Parker publicly for her tremendous work in, in that area. This is... wonderful that we're getting this kind of response, but it's very predictable because this was not an idea that was hatched in the back rooms of Albany. If it was an idea hatched in the back rooms of Albany, it would still be there. <laughs> the reality is that we worked with business leaders, with educators, we worked with city planners, we worked with those who know how to redevelop cities coming in some cases from some of the same areas of the country that are taking opportunities away from New York to build a viable plan so that we can develop the businesses and inevitably the jobs and inevitably the life conditions that not only will the young people graduate colleges stay here, but people will come to New York as they did in the 40s and 50s and 60s seeking opportunities because we are now national leaders in economic development. What we have to do now is to take what is on the drawing board and put it into reality. It will take a lot of work, it'll take a lot of effort, it'll take a steadfast, disciplined criticism and honesty about what we can do with our ideas and a sagging national economy overshadowing everything that we attempt to do, but we will prevail. And in case you're wondering about people born in New York City not understanding upstate, and I know that all of the statewide elected officials are from the New York City area, let me just tell you, I'm from a different part of New York City than any of them ever were. In Harlem, the neighborhood that I grew up in, we know all about getting the short edge of funding. We knew all about not getting the proper resources we need. We knew all about not being given the educational tools to let children have the minimum skills and training that they would go out into the world and probably change the future of the world. So let me be clear. There may be a child in Rochester who has the cure of cancer stuck in their brain but can't get the education they need to go out and save the world. We are going to give them the tools they need to be active.